Hello, sweet friends, and welcome back to, or welcome to, the farmhouse table. I am loving this weather, y'all. Let me just start off the video by saying that, you know, it's just like the little things that make you happy. It is in the like mid to upper 70s here where we live, and it is absolutely fantastic. I love being in a sweatshirt. I love having my hot coffee in the morning. It's just like, oh, and it's the weekend. So anyway, let's get into this video. So I'm gonna share with you our menu. Actually, I'm gonna share you the grocery haul first, and then we'll do the menu after that. This weekend, I'm really trying to focus on getting some um, videos out for you. I won't post them necessarily. This one will be, be will be posted this weekend, but I've got some other ones. I have a very busy week next week, and I just really try to get more content out for you guys other than just one grocery haul. Like, you know, my last one, the colonoscopy journey. <laughs> Y'all, oh my God. When I went to work, well, the teachers are telling me, oh my gosh, just how they watched it. So hello teachers, if you're watching this one. <laughs> you know, I'm so glad I did that video, but it's just funny, you know, when people come up to you like, I saw your colonoscopy journey. <laughs> anyway, that's why I do this, right? Uh, anyway, let's get to the grocery haul. Right, let's get on with this grocery haul, Kodiak. What you think? Oh yeah, look at him. You guys might um, hear, we've got the people building the deck um, right behind me <laughs> in the backyard. This guy's gotten, a, he has a grooming appointment at the end of this month, thank goodness. He's getting a little furry. Anyway, on to the grocery haul. Let me zoom back a little bit here. So we are having a lot of recipes this week that require a lot of produce, which is wonderful. So you'll notice a lot more produce. So uh, we've got some Granny Smith apples. These are the ones that Jay's likes. Ellie likes the red apples. So we've got some gala apples or gala apples, depending on what you say. Got a, I was just in the mood for some cantaloupe. So popped one of those in there. Some cuties, which I'm so glad that it's the cuties brand this time, because I noticed when it's I don't know if it's a store brand or an off brand, but they don't peel nearly as well. So I'm really glad that we have those. And then we've got some bananas back there, some uh, yellow potatoes for a recipe, onions, garlic. I'm making cucumber salad this week. So we've got some English cucumbers there. Um, you know, I can't even remember what... <laughs> What is on the menu? I'm getting ready to film the menu after this. So I have to remember what it was. I know we're having some Asian inspired meal uh, this week. So hence the snow peas and then some green onions here, red peppers. I know we're, I'm making a Philly cheesesteak pasta. I've made this before. I'm going to do my very best to film it because it is out of this world. Delicious. Um, so we have a bunch of peppers here. We're going to saute some broccoli up. Uh, with a dinner this week. Now, I'm doing something special for y'all. So we are hoping to film a short run in Hobby Lobby um, to just check out their fall decor. And I'm really hoping to do a fall decorate with me. And we're going to have a little part of the video that is going to be a scent pot. And what that basically means is you put some ingredients together in a small crock pot and you just let it simmer on your counter and it smells your whole house of fall scent. And you can use it or make it using like if you have some apples or oranges, you know, that kind of thing that are kind of lost their peak of ripeness and they're going, you know, kind of getting a little rotten. You can put those in there. Okay, let me let me move on. I'm really excited about that. Um, I got a couple lemons because I always do, just about always. And then Joey makes his sandwiches for work every week, so picked up some turkey breast for him. The blocks of cheese were on sale, so I just picked up a couple, a couple of mozzarella. I noticed that in the warmer months, I do, I do make some like more pasta bakes um, in the oven, so I just want to pick up some more of those. Um, the provolone and mozzarella blend is for recipe this week. Picked up some Wonder Bread for Joey's sandwiches. And then 
This is the bread that I use, the low carb. Y'all, I am telling you right now, I know that it costs more. I think it's $5.74 a loaf, I think. But it is absolutely delicious. I am not on a low carb keto anything. I just really try to cut and lower my carbs. So eight grams of fiber, zero sugar, one net carb. Oops, look. <laughs> That was so dramatic. Um, so, and it's soft. It's never hard. It's not crusty. I've noticed that with um, low-carb bread breads before, but I absolutely love that bread. I will buy nothing else as long as they keep making it. So keep making it. All right, moving on. Oh, th this is going to go in that scent pot. I've picked up some more cinnamon sticks, but also I wanted to pick some up because for our Halloween party and for... Thanksgiving and Christmas, I always make um, apple cider in the slow cooker. So I like to add those. I picked up one can of beef broth because I was like, I think we have some upstairs, but I just picked up one anyway for a recipe. They have been out of this zesty steak sauce for a few weeks and they it came in stock. So it just popped on my order. Um, we're going to have, we got some more of these famous chicken fingers this is a recommendation from a subscriber and we had them last week and she's right absolutely delicious if you can find them where you are they are so so good uh, picked up some more uh, coffee creamer y'all they've been out of it a lot and I'm just like when I can find it I like to stock up on it just in case because you know me and my coffee me and my coffee all right I'm gonna move down this way I picked up some more Too Good yogurts for my breakfast. Ellie um, asked if she could have some croissants um, to make sandwiches for her lunch for school. She loves a good croissant. I mean, who doesn't, right? Now, I know I've already posted Ellie's birthday party video, but that was her birthday party with family. And so tonight she's gonna have uh, some friends over. So I wanted to pick up a cake for her. And y'all, I just love some Carvel cake. We'll see if I have a piece or not, but this is the best part. Crave the crunchies. They're exactly right. I love those chocolate crunchies in there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this grocery order is $340 and it doesn't look like very much, but like this itself was almost 30. And then I think it was $26 in some sense. And then I also picked up a bag of dog food. Not a very big bag, but a big price for $50 for Kodiak for his food. And then um, I also got some wax melts uh, that are being sent. So they're not, they haven't delivered those yet. Now I did order some gel icing to write on her cake and they substituted with this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, we're, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it will resemble a happy birthday Ellie on it. <laughs> and then I picked up some candles. All right, heavy whipping cream back here for a recipe. That's actually for that Philly um, cheesesteak recipe. Picked up Jay's some more milk, some more orange juice for the kiddos. And I mean, I don't drink juice, but, and for um, Joey as well, because y'all, y'all, y'all. Tis the season for some germage. And of course, we're back at school, so it's like all about your immunity system right now. Um, anyway, so I just picked up two of those and then some more cat food. Just wanted to stock up a little bit more on that. Moving this way, I picked up a bag of tater tots and I'm not really sure why, but it happened. So there they are. Um, pistachios, Jay's loves these in his lunchbox. And then, so what we're having tonight with Ellie's friends, we're just making it super simple. So we're just having like, it's gonna be kind of like a junk food night, but isn't that what you're supposed to do? Um, so we're gonna get some Papa John's pizza. We're gonna have mozzarella sticks. We're gonna have some of those uh, chicken fingers. What else? And that cake. Yeah, and Papa John's pizza. And oh, I have a Caesar salad that I was gonna put together too. So it's just gonna be like, finger foods, that kind of thing. It just makes it easier, you know. And then picked up some more super pretzels. So the kids like to make a little pizza pretzel out of these. So <laughs> you're like, what is all this stuff? So what we're doing this, or what Ellie's doing with her friends this afternoon is she, Ellie's such a great artist, but we picked up some canvases 
for them to just paint, just paint, just sit, relax, paint, laugh. Um, picked up a bunch of, this is such a great assortment of paint brushes. So got those. And then I thought this was interesting for them to do. So these are fabric markers. They got really good ratings. So I'm hoping they work really well. But I picked up a t-shirt for each of the kids and then they can, you know, design their own t-shirt. I just think that's so cute. Um, picked up a bunch of paints for the canvases. Um, one of my wax melts came in with this grocery order and I, there's two more that are going to be shipped, but this smells really good. If you haven't smelled it before, it's, I, I don't like strong perfumey smells. I like more food smells. Um, and this definitely has a fall scent to it, but it smells really nice. And then come over here, over here. Oh, just the allergy tis the season, right? With these fall allergies this year. So picked up some more allergy relief, AKA Benadryl, just cheaper in the Equate version. And then some of this Linen Fresh. I really like that to spritz around for stinky odor places, gym bags, that kind of thing. And then I picked up some of this, what is it called? Hold on. Hot Shine. Oh my. Hot Shine foam. I We recently purchased a car and I just love to have those tires shiny. So you just go out there and you give them a little spritz. So um, that is, I believe, everything in our grocery order. Let's just do our little quick scanaroo here. All right. Yeah, I think I got everything. But yeah, $340, guys. But like I said, Kodiak's dog food, two other wax melts are not in this order. So we're going to go ahead and get this stuff put away. All right, so let's get to the menu. I'm going to start with today, today Saturday, and I'm just going to write, um, you know, Ellie's friends are coming over tonight, so I'm just going to write what we're having, pizza. I'm just going to do Ma's. Let's do Ma's sticks. And we're having, I'll just write it up here, chicken tenders. Caesar salad. Wow, this is turning out to be a, a full little area here. An ice cream cake. Can't forget that. All right, now let's move on to tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to have sweet and sour meatballs. These are homemade meatballs in a sweet and sour sauce. Oh, here we go. With uh, jasmine rice. This is a new recipe and I'm excited to do it. And then with this, I'm gonna also do sauteed, what are we gonna have? Sauteed peppers, broccoli, and snow peas. But that will be separate. The vegetables will be separate and, and so will the rice. Um, it just sounds super good. So I'm excited to make that. And then Monday, we are going to have the Philly cheesesteak pasta. Again, guys, excuse all the noise. Although it's good that we're hearing the noise because a lot of you had requested that we um, do a video on our backyard makeover. So slowly but surely that video is coming to fruition. We just have, we've got some more time. They're still working on it. They haven't actually started with the deck part yet. They're still working on the drainage system and everything. But anyway, we will, we will keep you updated and you will see it as soon as we can show it. All right, Tuesday is going to be lemon chicken orzo so for this recipe this is actually a recipe that i made up myself um you put some butter in a pan and you toast the orzo then you add chicken broth um and you add basil and parmesan cheese lemon zest lemon juice it is so absolutely delicious and then 
the chicken part, you can either saute in a pan or you can even cook it in the crock pot and serve it with. Um, but anyway, that's it's such a nice, light, like refreshing dinner, but still warm and cozy because look, we do a lot of warm and cozy because we're getting into, um, we're getting near that fall. Does anybody know what the first day of fall is out there? Anybody? Is it the 21st? We don't know. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I can, I can look it up on my phone and tell you, but I'm recording on my phone. <laughs> okay, so then we are going to go to Wednesday, which is leftovers. Definitely we'll need a leftovers day from all this. Um, Thursday, we are going to have another new recipe, and this is a made up one. Barbecue, because y'all know we have that half cow um, that we purchased this past summer in our freezer and we have some beef tips out there. So we're gonna do barbecue beef tip sandwiches. Oh, I just spelled sandwiches wrong. Let's fix that. What am I doing? Sandwiches. Whoop. And then with that, we are going to have a potato salad no wait not potato salad we're gonna have potato hash so basically you can take i had purchased those uh, golden potatoes or the yellow potatoes either way you slice them in half and you put it in the dicer and then you saute them put all the seasonings mm, mm, mm. and then with that we're gonna have cucumber salad And then Friday, I'm just, I'll, you know what? I'm not even gonna put pizza night. We're just gonna put family night because I have no idea what will happen. And very well, sometimes it may just be leftovers um, from all these meals. Anyway, all right, so this is our menu for the week. I am gonna try my darndest <laughs> to show my, this would be my goal. If I could pick the ones to record for you, would be the sweet and sour meatballs and the Philly, I really wanna do this one, the Philly cheesesteak pasta. Um, it's such an easy and delicious recipe. And then, you know, this is, I, they're all good, y'all. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we are getting super close to 6,000 subscribers. Y'all, that is so amazing. That makes me so happy. Like, I love making these videos. I never knew that I would do this, you know? And I made my first few videos on kind of like my shoulder surgery journey. And then I didn't make any videos for a while. And I was like, you know what? I kind of miss doing that. I kind of want to do it. And I have just gotten so much love and support. When I say that, I'm saying it. So much love and support from my subscribers, my farmhouse family. You guys are fantastic. You make me know that I am putting time into this and creativity into this for a reason, seriously. And I, I, I wanna thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys. So hopefully we will get a few videos out for you this week and we will see you in the next one. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed weekend. See you next time, bye.